Good morning. So it's Saturday morning and it's just after half seven. And myself and Frank have been up for a little while. Elaine's awake as well, but she's just still up in bed. And I'm just getting ready to take Frank out to the vet to get his teeth cleaned. I think he knows something's up because like we're up and his routine is different to normal. But he is happy enough just hanging out and enjoyed. He got to get up on the bed for a little bit this morning, so he was very happy with that. So he doesn't mind too much, but he's been whimpering at me a little bit because he wants to be fed and he obviously can't figure out why he hasn't been fed yet. Um, one thing, it's really windy this morning. Like it's, I think it's been kind of stormy here in Ireland all last night. So I can still hear like the wind just howling around the house and it's still dark out. So it kind of feels like we should all still be in bed. <laughs> So just dropped Frank off with the vet there now and yeah so he should be fine uh, should be done it's just eight o'clock now he should be done by about half ten ready to be collected then and they're gonna call me just to kind of confirm the price and that kind of thing as I was coming out though I can see like you can see there's a window into the surgery and I can actually see where they have Frank and he's completely out cold and it's a little bit upsetting actually just to see him under anesthetic it's it's just he looks like I'm used to seeing him lying down and asleep all the time but it looks a little bit unnatural so yeah uh, sooner this is over the better because I'm just like I wouldn't be the most anxious person in the world but I'm just a little bit anxious about him now because he's under anesthetic and I don't like that I know he'll be fine we've gone to a greyhound expert for this as well so we're going to a vet who's really used to working with greyhounds and taking care of greyhounds so everything will be grand but yeah the sooner this is over and we have our dog back the better I'm back home and Elaine and I have just been kind of hanging out and chatting and now we're sort of just doing like little bits of housework here and there trying to occupy the time until we go and collect the dog. So it's just 10 to 10 now and like I was told that he should be ready at about half 10 but I feel like time is going so slowly. We just really want him back now at this stage. So yeah going to keep doing what we're doing and then gonna ring the vet at 10 just to see if we should think about starting to head out then. Hey Pat, are you home? Yeah. Hey Blap. Come on. Good boy. Oh, Stop helping me, you know. So we've got Frank home now and he's just chilling on the couch. He's completely out of sorts and he's like a little drunk dog. Um, so he was kind of like woozy and kind of staggering a little bit and not able to walk straight but he was standing on the couch for ages after we got him in he wouldn't sit down um, but he's finally sat down now and he's kind of just chilling and I think he's he's really as the more he comes round the more he's like prepared to sit down I think he was actually standing because he didn't know what was wrong with him and he just felt weird so he was kind of standing over Elaine and I for ages on the couch just like staring at the window and now he's just on the couch kind of chilling into his pillow and like just lying on his pillow and he's just still a bit out of it but he's a lot better than he was so this is where he's at right now so he's just taking it really easy now so the vet said his teeth are pretty good said so there's one or two at the back that we need to watch so it might give trouble in a couple of years and might need to come out then but he didn't have to have any teeth out today which is brilliant and he we have to maybe when he comes around a bit more we'll just we'll give him some scrambled egg and then we'll give him his dinner as normal tonight but he won't get uh, his regular breakfast or anything like that so yeah we're just gonna kind of hang out with him now for the next little while we were thinking of going up to Liffey Valley to get one or two little bits but we're probably not actually going to do that now after all because we don't really want to leave him on his own today <laughs> So 
someone has their appetite back. I'm just getting ready to have my dinner now. And for dinner tonight, I'm just having a chili that we made a couple of weeks ago, and it's just been in the freezer. But Frank is just in on the couch, and he was actually lying on the couch with his head on my arm, and he had completely fallen asleep, which is the first time he's actually fallen asleep properly since he came home. So he's definitely starting to be a bit more like himself, but yeah, he's still fairly out of sorts. Quick update on Frank. He has moved over to the other side of the couch now. He's now lying just like this. And that's actually a great sign because it means he's kind of just getting back to his old habits and back into his kind of normal routine of doing what he does in the evenings. And also he seems to be getting a little bit better at jumping up and down off the couch and stuff again. So I think he's getting back to rights. And I'd say if he's not back to normal by tomorrow, he will be back to normal, I'd say, fully by Monday. And Elaine is out for the evening tonight, so myself and Frank have just been kind of staying in and having a pretty chill evening. So I'm sorry not a lot happened in this vlog today, but it's just been kind of one of those days where we've just been kind of hanging around and minding Frank because he's kind of been out of it for the whole day. Um, so yeah, there wasn't really a lot to show you guys, but it's just, that's going to happen sometimes. Anyway... I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.